garden ornaments, garden structures. We don't really need to put them in the garden because the beauty of the plants is quite stunning in and of itself. But we simply feel the need to adorn our gardens even further. And it's really a good thing we do because garden structures and ornaments add focus and they add a cohesiveness to your garden, whether it's a potage or any other garden that you have. It's really important to have paths, it's important to have structures, and it just really makes everything even more beautiful than it already is. So that's what we're going to talk about in this segment of the Potage Part 5. Let's start out our Gorna ornaments with this mini greenhouse, which is just a great focal point for your Potage, especially if you put it at the end of the path. You can even put it in the center of a garden bed as long as you have got some way to get to it because this is an item that you're definitely going to use. This is a very, very useful little um, item. It's got a lot of charm to it and a vintage look because it's made from salvaged windows, which are pretty easy to find. It's also made from a lot of salvaged metal, such as old rusty hinges, the doorknob is an old vintage piece, even the latches. It's so useful for putting in your plants as you're hardening your little seedlings off. It's a good place to show off some of your, your nicer little pots. And here is a place where I can actually use my little clay pots because from the bottom of the bell jar they can seep up their water and here they will stay until they're ready to put into the garden. So here you can see that we have used um, the spindles from an old stairwell. This metal shelf right here was actually a garden ornament that was to be hung on a wall but I had two of them so we used one as a shelf and another as a vent for the back of this piece because you don't want it so piping hot in here that you roast your little seedlings. This is a great place to put them to get them hardened off or even to start them out as long as the weather's right. Um, you could probably put a lot more shelves in here than we did. This is all that I needed though. Um, James built this probably in about five hours. All directions to find these, uh, directions to make these are online and you can make it in any style you want, depending on the size of windows because you you want to uh, make sure that whatever style you choose is going to match the windows that you were able to find. Obviously, has a lot of character. It's one of my favorite pieces in the garden. It's a great focal point and it really is in keeping with this style of gardening because of its look. And I'm telling you, if you, if you put one of these in your garden, you'll be very happy. So this is one thing to think about. This is also a useful garden structure, also a garden ornament. It's tall, so you've got that nice focal point. It's useful because this is a little garden work area. It's sort of in the middle of this potage. Uh, I you can use it to store um, my pots, my gardening supplies. You can put your soils underneath it in pots and, and tubs and pans, whatever it is that you store in. I like to put succulents up here because they get wonderful sun all day and because my ducks love to eat succulents and they can't get them up here. You get bedding plants, you're not ready to put them in yet. You can put them on these shelves. Of course, it's metal. This is metal, so it's weatherproof. But if you had a shady area, somewhere up against a house in your potager. You could even use wood. You could have one of these made from an old dresser with some shelves, bookshelves, all sorts of things you could use. I like the metal because it gets rusty. It's in keeping with pop along holoscaping. And I just don't have to worry about this in the rain. This is just a little strip here in the potager. And it's very useful to come in here and get a little work done. Also, this is where I've taken the tulips that have already bloomed. They're turning yellow right now, and pretty soon I'll be able to remove those bulbs out of those pans and use them once again for something else. 
I planted oxeye daisies all around the edges here so that we'll have a nice sort of enclosed area when those get to be about three feet tall. It'll be very, very pretty in here. But once again, you've got this as your focal point, your garden ornament, your structure. Another great garden structure, or I, I consider this actually a garden ornament as well, is a cold frame, hot frame. Um, this one mimics the one in Colonial Williamsburg, and James also built this for me in about three hours using, once again, salvaged windows and wood that was just up in the barn. Um, look at all the plants that it holds. It's fantastic for using it in the winter, in the summer, in the spring. You can use these all year long depending on whether you use it as a hot frame or a cold frame. But this is a beautiful piece also in keeping with an old-fashioned protege. It's up against this wall. It has a southern exposure. And behind that is that cattle panel we use everywhere. But that will be completely covered with morning glories probably by the time June is here. So this is a great piece which is also useful and also I think very, very beautiful. Another garden ornament, another garden structure. And last but not least we have our insect bee haven, which I did an entire video on a bee haven. At that time though it was up against a wall. This is backing the little potting station behind it but these are just so much fun to build. They're just so interesting and the bees actually do use them. So I have an entire video on how, how to build one of these. What a great garden ornament and structure this is. You can put this anywhere in your potager and make a really wonderful statement. And the bees will love you for it. <laughs>